J Rod the criminal. So, dude, were you on the top bunk or the bottom bunk? At the top, top bunk. How did you swing that? I mean, did you have to beat up like somebody? Uh, I had to go to the top of the ladder and talk to the fucking bunk. So Rodney, is he? So did he hook you up with the top bunk? I don't know what his name was. A big black guy. I can't remember. He wasn't really that big. He was just. He just like. He's just the leader. What did he get for you, though, dude? Like, what did you have? Did you ask him for anything, like cigarettes or anything? No, I just told him I'm just gonna fucking be asleep every night. It's not gonna be really doing much. So why would he protect you? I mean, what was the reason he would protect you if you didn't pay him or anything? That wasn't what I was saying. It wasn't a protect situation. It wasn't. It wasn't like. What was that? What was the name of that uh, movie with American History X? It wasn't like that, where you had to like make friends with the biggest black guy in there and suck his dick. So you didn't have to suck anyone's dick in there. Did you see anybody else having some like no. oral sex going on? No, because I no, I wasn't there. I was just I had my eyes shut ninety nine percent of the time I was there. <laughs> I didn't even use the restroom. You... I didn't even go in a restroom. <laughs> the whole time. I went in there. Well, how did, where did you take a shit? I didn't. I was only... I just slept and I went home and took a shit. Oh, because you wanted to be there in the day. I only had to be there... No, I only had to be there at night. I just had to go to sleep there. Just, oh, at night. So, was there times, though, at night where you had to take a shit and you're just like, nope, I'm not going to do it? There's a couple times where I was like, no, I'm not... No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Why, what would what would have happened if you would have gone? What time. would have happened? Nothing would have happened. It's just like they're just like open stuff. Like there's no stalls. It's just fucking. So open. why were you worried about it? Why didn't you want it? Fucking just gross. Oh, it's just gross. Yeah. Was so were there even doors on the stalls, or was it just wide open? You could no, see every, not everybody. Even stalls. Not even happen. walls. Not even walls. Just people would just drop their. Pants and take a shit in front of everybody else. Pretty much. I mean, there was a, there was like a little brick <laughs> wall like this high. <laughs> it was weird. It was a weird experience, dude. With like the whole commissary thing, <laughs> like spending money. People once they open commissary, you could go in there and get. Wait, what's commissary? Food like, like the just the vending machines. Yeah, you can buy real food instead of the shit sandwich they give you. Is that you what like they? An orange and a like peanut butter and <laughs> fucking honey sandwich. And it's, it, there's just a dollop of peanut butter in the middle of the fucking bread. It's gross too. It's salami. What's it like Wonder it's Bread? Like, not salami. Uh, <laughs> what's that other shit? Bologna. Just bologna sandwiches. <laughs> With a little dollop of fucking mustard and mayo right in the middle. And like, you had to open it up and smear it around. It's fucking gross. I never ate any of it. Was it like Wonder Bread? No, it wasn't that good. It was even Wonder Bread. <laughs> it's a whole different world in there, man. Did you I, see? You had to wait in line. Were there any fights? They open commissary. You to, if you ran over there right away like an idiot, which some people did, you'd have to wait in line. But I was like, I'm not fucking running over there. <laughs> so I would just wait for the line to die down. But that would be like two hours later. There'd be a line around the whole place to get in there and get a fucking cold like, drink. That was it. So seven degrees. It was just vending, just vending machines. There wasn't like a cafeteria. No, it's just vending machines. You just go in there, and all they do is yell at you the whole time. They're like, "Hurry up, hurry up, get your shit and get out." <laughs> and what would you pay with, like dollar bills? <laughs> yeah, you were allowed to bring like twenty dollars cash every time you were went in there. That was it. You could only take twenty in. Yeah, you could only twenty. So you always just brought one. How much? How much did a machine take? How much did a pack of cigarettes cost? 
you know, know that were cigarettes. that were smuggled in. No, the smuggled in cigarettes. Oh, I don't know. Like you went to Rodney and said, "Hey, how much for a pack of know. cigarettes?" I don't know because I never wanted, to, I never did that. But like, just where would they smoke just, cigarettes? You'd have to be, you'd have to do it into like into your towel. You'd go get your towel wet and you'd smoke into your towel. So the you can't just have a plume of smoke coming up like they're gonna come and fucking put you in prison. You can't smoke in there. So you'd have right. to like go around the corner and try to blow it somewhere, or you'd, you'd have to smoke into a wet rag. That's so, me. so when that sec- that security chick, that security guard, when no, she was when she that. was frisking you, dude, did you ever have a boner when she was doing it? You never had a hard on, and was she like, was she ever like, hey, what's this? <laughs> no. Is this a weapon? <laughs> Looks like Joe Summers is smuggled in. There are no clubs allowed. She would like hey, grab it. Your baseball bat <laughs> She'd be like, did she grab on it? Like, hey, what's this? Hell. Drag me back through. All these memories that's... I had stored away to never be Right, never again. come out again. That was your concealed weapon. <laughs> oh, man. Did she ask you if you had any concealed weapons? No. You're, it's you, weird to think about you were it, like, I'm just my huge cock. Shit that I was like, I just mentally blocked out. Like the weird dude that just kept talking to nobody. Were you ever scared in there? Yeah, I thought that guy was, he could have done anything. He would yell, like, at people that weren't there. He's having full-on conversations, and he's talking about getting, like, molested <laughs> by his, I don't know, Uncle fucking Touchy. Or whatever it was. Touched by an uncle? Uh, uncle Touchy. <laughs> To the... He was messed up. Some of us talked about it. We were like, dude, I kind of feel bad for that guy. He like, Something's he's wrong up so with much. him. He's just... He's talking about... Something. Why was he in there? What did he do? I, oh, I don't know. Molested a kid or something? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. What? That wasn't a thing that you would... You would think that... <laughs> But it's not. Like, you don't just go around t- talking to all these people and be like, what are you Why are you for? in here? That's not a thing. No? That, like, TV so, and so stuff like the movies like, is bullshit. What are you in for? No. You don't fucking ask that. You don't want to know what the fuck that guy did. Right. You don't want them no. to beat you I mean, up. After you get to know somebody for a little bit, you can talk about it. But, like, no, you don't just be like, hey, what's up, bro? What are you in for? What are you in for? So we're, no, but dude, we they were in for some shit way more than my stupid little DUI. <laughs> right, most of I'm them. In there for the... No, but that's why you tell a lie so you scare the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's fucking crazy. Stay no. away from him. Yeah, and that's the he, thing though. She killed his mom with a spoon. Like, all the DUI people, <laughs> no, people did some shit. In there. Like they don't get well, to go out. No, I thought. Release. But I thought it was I low level. I don't see him all day, and I come back. I thought it was like just low, very living there because no they were so high risk. Yeah. yeah, because it was more bigger crime. Out. Yeah. Dude, so, dude, you were never like ever scared, like you were gonna get your ass beat up, no. or like, your ass raped, and that never even came, not even close to that. Nothing no. like that. No. Did I you mean, see the anybody? First couple nights that I was there, I was like kind of scared, just in general, like. More like this sucks. Did uh, but did you see anybody get beat up or butt fucked or anything? Nothing like that even happened. No, nothing. Nothing really ever happened when I was there. But like, like I said, I was only there at 8 p.m. So Shawshank. 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. That was the only time I was there. I was right. sleeping 99. So Shawshank Redemption. That's all bullshit. <coughs> at least in Ten City. Well, that's fuck yeah. Ten City's. It's the only thing in the world or in the country. It's, it's a different thing than anything else. Right. So. Why were you trying to sleep during the daytime? I wasn't. 
Yeah, didn't you say you put like wet towels on you so you could try to sleep? Yeah, because it's 107 degrees out at 8 p.m. at night. Oh, you were there at yeah. night. I keep thinking, I keep forgetting you were there at night, not during the day. Only there at night. It's yeah, so Okay, right. I had, but I did have to stay there two Sundays all day. What was worse, day or night? Day, for sure. Dude. What the fuck are you going to do? Talk to people, I man. Get to, to know them. Get to, to know people. You Weren't you trying to get to know people and talk? No. Like, no. Use your gift making, of gab? I was making a lucrative business connection. Right? The whole time. Blow? The no. Pablo Escobar Cabar connection? <coughs> Dude, it was... Yeah, so... That, well, that's the only two... Two days I spent there during the day where I experienced, like, commissary and all this shit, like... Wasn't there any, like, feeling. classes you could take? Like, weren't they making license plates or anything? No, I wasn't in fucking jail. I know, I'm asking you, does Tent City like prison. that where people... in federal... Power I know, I know what I'm asking you, is Tent City like that where people make, like, license plates and shit? They don't you do that do there? You, you just do rocks. nothing. You they should at least rocks. make those, put those guys to work. They do nothing. Nobody does anything. All they do is sit there and wait for the opportunity to go buy shit in the commissary line. That's it. It's closed most of the time, but when they open it up, they're like, all right, the commissary's open for the next hour. And everybody goes. Everybody just everybody. funnels and tries to get in line, and you go in there, they're like, you only get like a small amount of time to make a decision and buy whatever you need to buy, and then you have to get out. Do you already know what you want before going in there? You already got like, you've already planned it this I've out? I've never even been in there. I didn't even know what they had. And so what did you get? But mostly cold drinks because it was fucking 110. Yeah. Just buying something cold to drink was the main... You wouldn't get any food? Just buying Gatorades, mostly. No food? No energy bars or anything? Oh, well, they don't have fucking energy bars. <laughs> like, well, okay, like, well, tell me what they had. regular vending machines. Like, like what? You would have Snickers? Yeah, Snickers and fucking... They had more than that. They had stuff that, like... Hot pockets and stuff, but they also didn't have a way for you to make them hot. <laughs> so <laughs> it was a you could buy sandwich, you know. It was a like defrosted hot sandwiches. pocket, yeah. They had the like, subways, yeah, yeah. They had some of the vending machines that were like cooled, so you could get sandwiches and whatever. Right. So you don't want to eat that shit they give you. How much was a sandwich? bought a sandwich but it wasn't like really expensive it was like a candy bar is a dollar it's pretty much 50 cents at the grocery store but could you could you buy like more than you wanted and then like go and sell it in the tenants no you wouldn't sell it why not (coughs) you could like you could probably double your money no but I didn't (coughs) see anybody do that but like yeah you could just no I saw people like spend like Full twenty bucks in there and just get a bunch of shit. I mean, weren't they in the tent they trying the to sell it? They were there all day and all night, and right? All day and all night, they didn't work getting out. So you never saw anybody trying to sell their candy bar shit in the tent, the actual they tent. They traded shit a little bit, played a lot of cards. Was there some poker going on where they were like gambling with their Snickers bar? <laughs> I'll well, call you your no, Snickers yeah, bar and I'll raise yeah, you a yeah. sub sandwich. Yeah, you can buy a deck of cards in the vending machines and. Yeah, there's people gambling. They were? But what, so what were they betting with? Cigarettes? Money. Oh, I got it. Because you, you have 20, you have $20. Dollars. That's hilarious. So that's what I'd spend my 20 on if I was in Tan City. I'm definitely, that's what I would use it for. It depends on how long you have to sit there. If you couldn't get out. I mean, you'd think those guys would be cheating at poker. <laughs> All of them, right? How do you trust those guys? You know, some of the people were like, weren't murderers or anything. Yeah, but still, they might be trying to deal from the there bottom no, of the deck. And there was nobody in Tent City that was like, that killed the dudes or anything. Yeah, because Maybe those guys, are, auto, but that was like the worst. The dude, right. No, what, what, do you, what about like prison. maybe burglary, like breaking and entering? Yeah, stuff like that. Domestic dispute, assault stuff, like yeah, 
kick somebody's ass real good. Yeah, but those are the guys that scare me. The guys that just want to beat, you know, get in fights for whatever. You look at them wrong. There we go. I've been waiting for this one. Little Genghis Khan. So when would they do that lockdown thing where everyone had to lay down on the ground? It happened two times. Because everyone, like, the girls that were on the other side of the fence, they were instigators. <laughs> what? Sure. What do you mean? They were always trying to get our attention because, like, the girls were <laughs> on this side of the fence and we're on this side of the fence. The fence is right here. And there's water stations where you go fill up your water bottle and bathrooms and all the shit was here. And the fence is right here. And there was always, like, guys and, gr like, girls were trying to, like, talk to us. We had to, like, look the other way and stuff. Wait, well, so if you did talk to them and got caught talking to them? To talk? No, you're not supposed to And so to then what would happen if you did get caught? I don't know. No, I mean, they just yell at you, hey, don't... Don't talk with the chicks. To them, you know? But, yeah, you, they would come all the way over next to the fence, and every once in a while you'd see... <laughs> if you go through the fence, it's not like wieners or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's but hilarious. You were, you were directly, you weren't separated by anything. You were directly just across a fence from them. Yeah. And they were right here. It's not like they were 20 just feet away. Just one spot. When you went to the, the water stations, the girls were on that side. And there's like a, maybe like a 25 foot fence. Where, yeah, you could see the girls film. But you could go right up to the fence and they could go right up to the fence and you guys yeah, beef. But you weren't supposed to, you weren't allowed. You were supposed not supposed to. to do that. And there's cops everywhere. They're, but yeah. you're saying the chicks would be the one that would go to the fence first yeah, to try to instigate. Yeah, while, somebody, well, it happened twice. Somebody from the girls' side threw something over the fence. <laughs> like. Like a bra or something? Some panties? No, like, no, like. A bag of pills or cigarette, a pack of cigarettes would come flying over the fence. To the boyfriend. Yeah, to somebody. To, and then they would like to, try to creep over and grab it. To Rodney. But if one of the like <laughs> security guards saw it, he would fucking blow the whistle or whatever and radio it over and they would blow the horn and they'd be like everybody down. Everybody had to get down. Back. Yeah, you have to lay on the ground. Hands behind your head or something? No, just... Just lay on the ground. Lay on the ground and just don't move. And then they would go, like, grab the dude that grabbed whatever got tossed over, and they'd go grab, see what the fuck... And they would, would they take him away? Like, you're fucked, you're, you're, you're going to jail now? It depends on what it was. I mean, I don't know what it was either time. It could have been a knife, could have been a pack of cigarettes. Right. Just something came over the fence. It was right. dark. I was... Do you do you go like through? Did you go through like orientation where they had to tell you like if you hear this siren you got to get on the ground? Tell you shit. So how do you know when the when the siren was going off that you needed to be on the they ground? They have a loudspeaker like they're like everybody get get down. Oh, it's they coming over a loudspeaker. Everyone get down on the ground. Hey, you two over there by the fence, <laughs> stop talking to the girls. <laughs> you know, they right? just do it over the loudspeaker. Interesting. Yeah, because they have a whole crew in a little room with cameras everywhere. Those security guards look like some big badass dudes. Were they? I mean, were they intimidating? Not really. They're... Were they flexing their muscle at you? No? It is a certain fucking personality, for sure, to be a cop or a security guard. Like, you got to think you're pretty... Badass. Cool. Yeah. yeah. you got to think you're better than... A... That was These the main fucking thing. criminals. That was the main thing. They had a personality type where they made it obvious to everyone that they thought they were better than you. Because you're a fucking guy. You're, you're a criminal. You're in city. You fucked up. I'm better than you. And you have to do everything I say. Yeah, that's a power trip. For sure. And that's the type of person that becomes a police officer for the most part. Yes, the, someone that got beat up by their dad a lot, or yeah. by their mom, or fucked up. Yeah. Those, someone that wants to like. I do know. Get some a payback. Of cool police officers, but I haven't really met any in my whole life. 
consider like a decent person, even off the job. Police, police officers? <laughs> yeah. I went to, we had <clears throat> our campsite at Country Thunder three years in a row was right next to a bunch of cops, off-duty cops. Like they were there to party, they were having fun. They had some, some big parties at their place too. And we didn't even know till the second year. We're like, "What do you guys do?" And they're like, "Were oh, you pulling out drugs and shit too?" Police. And we're like, "What?" <laughs> Are you pulling out drugs in front of them? No. Dude, you're so lucky you didn't, man. Maybe they wouldn't care. They're off duty. No, they didn't care. They were cool <laughs> as fuck. They're they like, were. Hey, come hang with us. Like, we're getting fucked up over here. We're having fun. They're, yeah, they're the only ones I've ever met. But I was like, "Wow, you guys are." 